everybody, it's Leanne and well I'm going to do my what's in my diaper slash changing bag slash nappy bag, whatever you call it or whatever country you live in. So we're going to do a what's in my nappy bag. So I bought this very pink, very spotty one when I was pregnant um, and obviously I didn't actually know what I was having. But the man I bought it from, because I had such an inkling it was going to be a girl anyway, the man I bought it from did say that I can return it if it turns out being a boy. So this is my nappy bag. I bought it from a local store in my town. Um, and the man's shop is called Sam's because he's called Sam. And he sells lots of handbags and stuff. And I bought so much handbags, like so many handbags and stuff from him. And he gave me a really good deal. I literally paid how much he paid for it because he loves me so much. And I always buy stuff in there and I always get a discount anyway. Um, so this was meant to be at 40, 30, 40 pounds and I got it for 15. So I literally paid how much they paid for it. Obviously you can see how much money they put on the top. Um, it has lots of different compartments. We have two, ooh, two pockets in the front, two around the side. We have the main pocket on the side. That's got um, a little zip pocket, and then we have a pocket at the back where you put the little changing mat in, and it's got some little net bits which I've not used yet. So let's have a look. We'll go through the main compartment first. So in here at the moment, oh, let me see this up. I have a lot. Ooh. Um, I have obviously. My nappies, everything is just chucked in here. So these are my nappies. We are using the Sainsbury's Eco nappies. Um, I want to cloth diaper. Like reuse, use reusable nappies, but a little lady has very little little legs and little bums. So I've got the little Eco ones at the moment. I also have some um, 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 Asda Little Angels ones as well because they were on offer, so I bought them. And I did have the normal Pampers newborns. Uh, we've now decided that we hate them. <laughs> we don't really like Pampers. They, they're not very good. We do like the little angels and we do really like these. These are quite big. Um, but they fit all nice on her belly. And they don't gather too much down by the bum. Whereas we find that the um, Pampers do gather down by her bum. And they make her bum look really big. And... They're not very comfortable, I don't think, on her. So also in here I have my wet wipes, which are just the Johnson's baby ones. It's extra sensitive. I also, Asta has obviously really good baby events. And I work there, so I get discounts. So after a baby event, I can get a pack of these, like a box of these, for pretty cheap. Um, I have the Sudicrem Care and Protect in here. Um, after I had her, they gave us these little tiny... some little tubes of it and I really liked it and I had 50p off um, a voucher and obviously Asda has the baby event on at the moment so I um, obviously got the 50p off so I got this for 250 instead of £3 at the baby event I'm not sure how much it is after the baby event anyway but so I got these in there um, I also had a pack of uh, nappy sacks because when you go to houses you don't really want as many nappies in the bin Plus, if I go somewhere that doesn't have a bin, I just put it in there and put it back in the bag. It's quite good. Um, I have a little hat I knitted for her, which not a lot of hats fit the baby at the moment. This one does. My mum said she'd get fed for seeing baby wear this one all the time, so I need to make a new one. Um, I also have a little cardigan. This was Edwards. So it is aged three to six months, but it's really not. It's tiny. Um, I also have um, my wet bag, and I know obviously you normally put your cloth nappies in here, but little lady has been exploding lately, so it's just ideal for putting the dirty clothes in. And obviously this can be washed as well. Um, I have my wallet in here. I have a muslin in here because she dribbles a lot. She's a bit sicky, not too bad, but she's a little bit. Plus, that always helps like, to lie it down if you're doing something. I have spare clothes for her. 
there, so I've just got some ones I don't really mind getting. Hopefully Daddy's so just got some plain ones. I'm pretty sure some of these she's going to be out of now, because she's not getting too big for the unit. She's getting bigger than what she was. Um, I have a bib. I don't know why we have a bib, because she's uh, little. But this is just one that my sister got me from New York, I think. This hotel's closed down now, so she got it at a steal, and obviously she stayed in this hotel, so we've got that. I also have um, another hat, but this is also too big for her, so it's muffled on her head. <laughs> and we have three pairs of socks in here. None of these socks fit her neither, these are all really too big, these are newborn socks, but they are too big. Um, and the only socks that fit her are the ones that my friend had bought her from Asda. They fit her. They're a bit big. And my mum bought some from Houndland, which I know sounds really stupid, but they are so tiny. They actually fit her. So I'm going to have to put a pair of them in her uh, memory box when she's a bit bigger. Obviously growing out of them. I also have uh, sun cream in here, which obviously is not just for her, it's for Edward. Because his bag goes everywhere with us now. Um, I have loads of Costa sugars. I don't have sugar in my Costa. Jay does though. <laughs> so we've also been Costa at some point. And some rubbish. Already we've only three weeks old we've already got rubbish in here. We've got a taggy and some cherry menthol. I had a cough after I had the baby. And I can have these so I have them. I didn't really want to take too much. And I have a dummy. Uh, with some sheepies on it. This is the advent one. A little. This is dirty, so it needs to be washed and sterilised. But this is um, the advent one for her. Um, I prefer advent because this is what they gave Edward when he was at the hospital. Because he's very whiny. In this pocket here, oh, I have some lady bits. These are like the maternity pads, so you can tell how long they've been in here already. But I guess keep them in there, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, in these front pockets at the moment, I have, oh my good god, um, about a million different, yeah, we've got about a million breast pads. I do go through them quite a lot. We have some scratch mitts and another cap to go on to a different dummy. Uh, she hasn't overly used the dummy though, so it's quite good because she will just fall asleep quite easily. And in the other pocket we have a face cloth, which is obviously from when I had her at the hospital. Some antibacterial gel because I love it. Um, a bounty card thing. Oh, that's from when she had her photos taken at the hospital. Um, is it a key ring? I think this is Edward's really got stuff in it. And some pennies. A whole 40 pence. Not back in there, you never know when you need it. And in the side pockets we have, do I have anything in the side pockets? Nothing in that one. And um, some Enspar Mum to be smoothing nipple balm. And after I had bought it and it cost me £6, I never bloody used it. I've used it the most smallest amount and that is for the baby, not for me. I put it on her face, around her lips and stuff because obviously they, it doesn't really matter if it goes on the baby's lips. Um, and she had really dry skin. So this has been used on the baby and not me. So, But I've kept it in there because you never know, she might chat for my nippy nips again. Um, in the back pocket, we just have the changing mat, which needs to be washed because she had a bit of an explosion at the beach, so this has to be washed. It's not been used for a couple of days. I really should wash it, but that is literally all that's in my nappy bag. Clothes <clears throat> and stuff. So hopefully, um, she doesn't explode too much. But that wasn't as short as I wanted it to be, but that is literally what is in my nappy week with a three week old baby. And I guess I will do this again and again and again. 
Obviously the baby is breastfed so there's not going to be any bottles, any formula, anything like that in it. Uh, depending on the weather you might see a coat but not really a coat, like a sleep suit in there. You might see a um, spare towel, a uh, spare blanket in there. Depends how long we're going out for because obviously how many nappies, this is how many nappies I would normally take. So we've got five nappies and um, my daughter is very slight so you will change her bum and she'll poop again within seconds of changing her bum so that's two gone and she'll <laughs> do it again and then you got a spare one so it depends how long you go and how many i will take out for the day so if we went out i don't know to the beach or something for the day i would take about 10 because you never really know if you're going to be there all day and they do reckon that some babies can use up to 10 nappies a day you don't know how long you're going to be there and you don't know how long you're going to need them you don't know if you're going to get stuck in traffic you know what i mean Right guys, thank you for watching. If you know of any more videos you want me to do, let me know. And I will do them. Have a good day guys. Thank you very much. Bye.